Today we're going to talk about fuel tanks and fuel tank components. We're going to discuss some of the hazards that are present, uh, both are environmental, uh, personal, and related to fire. Okay, so when we're inspecting fuel tanks, it's important to know that there are three types of fuel tanks that we deal with. Uh, integral tanks, non-integral tanks, and portable tanks. Okay, now all three types of tanks, they all commonly have uh, venting that's required, uh, of course a, f a fill pipe or a fill line, uh, a discharge line or a supply line where it's going to the machinery or to the location that it's needed to be sent, and a stop valve. Uh, now the stop valve and the vents are covered in the fuel transfer system video. So I'll refer you there to get more information on those specifically. So we'll start with the integral fuel tank. Integral fuel tanks are built into this ship. Just behind this bulkhead is an integral fuel tank. It's got a side glass. You'll see the markings for the level, uh, which I'll refer you to the fuel oil service uh, training lesson video to get more detailed information about that. So a non-integral fuel tank is a tank that's designed and built outside of the ship and then it's tested and then they bring it on board and they install it on the vessel. So oftentimes you'll find it in the steering compartment where now you have potentially a confined space and now we will need to test the atmosphere of that space before we enter to do a good inspection of the fuel tank, the, the shutoff valve, the, um, the bonding, electrical bonding that's required for the non-metallic hose section. So the hazard presented there is obviously uh, oxygen deficiency and lower explosive limit. And as for portable fuel tanks, I'm going to refer you to the fuel transfer system training video where you can get more information on that. All right, so in closing, it's important to identify what type of fuel tank system you're going to be inspecting. Uh, integral tank, non-integral tank, or portable tank. Remember, we're going to be checking the, the vents. We're going to look at the uh, vent height up on the weather deck. We're going to test closing and opening of the valve. We're going to look at the presence and location and type of flame screen material and whether that flame screen material is adequate um, according to what's required uh, for each type of vessel. Um, look at the sounding tubes the closing devices, uh, the remote fuel tank shutoff valves, and um, the most common uh, d deficiency that we find on checking these systems is either the material used for the sight glass or the flame screen material condition. If you have any questions that, on items that I may not have covered, uh, or if you think of any questions, make sure you reach out to your verifying officer.